I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will further explore graph of trigonometric functions. So we have a very interesting example here. The question is sketch graph of f of x equals to sin square x minus cos square x. Wow! That's extremely difficult to sketch. I can't do it either. Now what do you suggest? How can we sketch the graph of f of x equals to sin square x minus cos square x. Well, some of you who have done compound angles may be in a position to sketch it. If you remember the formula for I wrote sin, so let me write formula for sin 2x is equal to what? Well, that's not very relevant. The formula for cos 2x can help us do something about it. Well, cos 2x is cos square x minus sin square x. Correct. So, that can really help us. So, what we can do here is, we can, uh, I should say, rewrite the function and then simplify. What do we get? We get sin square x minus cos square x, which can, I, I want to write like this. So, I'll take minus common and then we get cos square x minus sin square x and cos square x minus sin square x is cos 2x. So I can write this as minus cos 2x. Well now I can sketch it, right? It really means that it is a cosine function which will have two waves within a period of 2 pi, right? And uh, amplitude is 1 but it should start with the minimum, right, since there is a reflection. So let me sketch approximately, well let's say this is 1 for us and this is minus 1 for us. Then I could sketch this graph kind of like this. One wave, two wave. So I'm just sketching uh, two waves within x equals 2, this is 0, 2 pi. This will be pi for us. This will be 1. This will be minus 1. Correct? So minus cos of 2x. It really means that the time period is uh, 2 pi by 2, which is pi. Correct? Therefore, we have one wave and the other wave within 2 pi. Right? Of course, the function's domain is all real numbers. So we can just continue like this. However, the important thing which I wanted to highlight in this example was that at times you may get some trigonometric expressions which need some simplification. Once you do that, then it becomes easier for you to sketch the graph, right? Now, let me write this as 2 sin x cos x and uh, give you a problem. So what you can do is, as a practice, you can sketch few graphs. So the question for you is sketch the following functions, right? So let me write the functions straight away. Let us say sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2. Okay, let me qualify it with half. It uh, looks nice. And uh, you can also sketch a function which could be uh, 2 sin square x minus 1. Be careful, right? Because cos 2x, you know, could be written as 1 minus 2 sin square x, okay? So, at times, you can use the knowledge which you have learned about compound angles and uh, similar things. Simplify these expressions and then sketch your graph. It will be a good practice for you. I hope you appreciate it. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.